The moment you've all been waiting for is finally here. It looks like Apple is going to introduce a Mac OS mode or a hybrid iPad OS Pro operating system for their top-of-the-line iPads. Apple has hinted at changes to the iPad OS interface that appear to bring it closer to Mac OS. Currently, iPad OS runs on a range of iPads, like this one with an A10 chip, which delivers a multicore score of 1172. In stark contrast, the M4 iPad achieves a multicore score of around 14,520. This means the older iPad is over 12 times slower, yet it can perform many of the same tasks, which is mind-blowing. Even though Apple no longer sells the older iPads, the latest 10th generation iPad is still three times slower than the M4 iPad Pro. Despite this, both devices handle similar tasks, except for some limitations like the use of the Apple Pencil Pro. For everyday jobs, the USB Pencil from last year is still compatible and efficient. This brings up a crucial point. Why invest in an iPad Pro with so much power when a regular iPad can do almost the same things? Apple needs to create a distinct operating system for its high-powered devices. The M1 to M4 iPad Pros, as well as the M1 and M2 iPad Airs, should have a specialized operating system. Many in a question why we can't just run Mac OS on an iPad Pro with an M4 chip, considering the hardware similarities with a MacBook Pro. It seems logical to expect a similar performance, especially with the Magic Keyboard. However, Apple's strategy seems to be pushing users to own both devices rather than merging their functionalities. Let's talk about today's sponsor, Lexer, and their incredible hard drives. One of the downsides of both iPads and MacBooks is their limited internal storage. That's where the Lexer SL500 external SSD comes in. It's incredibly thin and offers outstanding performance with read speeds up to 2000 megabytes slash and write speeds up to 1800 megabytes slash via USB 3.2 Gen 2 X2. Now let's dive back into the potential changes to iPad OS. According to some patents, Apple might develop an interface that resembles Mac OS. If implemented, we could see enhanced features like larger buttons for finger use, making the interface more touch-friendly. The Magic Keyboard with its trackpad would seamlessly integrate, offering a hybrid experience. This new iPad Pro would combine the best of both macOS and iPadOS, creating a middle ground that leverages the strengths of each. For example, Apple could enhance the camera app to utilize AR tools with the LiDAR sensor, allowing users to sketch over live videos or photos on the go. While some third-party apps already offer similar capabilities, integrating this directly into iPad OS Pro would be a game-changer. Moreover, with Apple's focus on AI, many new features introduced in iOS could be mirrored in iPad OS and Mac OS. This means that advanced AI capabilities could soon be part of the iPad OS Pro experience, making the iPad even more powerful and versatile. The bottom line is that iPad OS needs to evolve. Apple should maintain the current iPad OS for older and less powerful devices while introducing a new, more advanced iPad OS Pro for the latest models with M chips. This new system would fully utilize the powerful hardware of devices like the M4 iPad Pro, offering a more desktop-like experience. Imagine being able to run a Finder app split screens and have more window management options, just like on Mac OS. This is what users want an iPad that can do everything their Mac can, but with the added flexibility of a touchscreen. Apple needs to listen to its customers and make this a reality. So what do you think? Should Apple create a separate iPad OS Pro that bridges the gap between macOS and iPad OS, or should they just bring Mac OS to the iPad Pro? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and subscribe to our channel for the latest Apple news, reviews, and comparisons. Don't forget to hit the notification bell to stay updated. Until next time, take care and see you soon.